My bullet. It depends what our score is. Oh, you have a Mm-hmm. Ow, that hurts. Don't you dare hit me. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you press the trigger buttons. You press the aiming button and um, the shooting button. Oh, yay! It's like I asked, yeah. asked to go here. Yeah. Oh, not that bad. I'm not doing that bad. Damn it. We made it. Wow. In the next 50 hours, I'm going to challenge myself to transform this space into a complete Minecraft world. Will this be a success or a failure? Let's find out, people. So the space I have to build on is 96 by 128 studs. It's all just ocean right now. There's nothing. Which means we're going to need a lot of Lego pieces. So let's make a quick run to the Lego store. Okay, so since this is a Minecraft world, we're going to need some Minecraft sets. So let's go pop some sets right now. Minecraft right here, boys. We're going to get this bunny set. Get one of those. This is a $10 one. Do you take Lego currency? I went into free play to get all these. Are you sure? Sorry about that. I'll just pay with uh, Deva then. Appreciate it. Have a good one. So now we're going to take this back to the crib yeah, and uh, we're going to go to the Minecraft world. So let's go right now. Okay, so back at the crib, it was time to unbox the sets. Alright, it's time for my... Try not to um, jump in the slime. But there's one problem I realized. Since this has to be a custom Minecraft world, using complete oh, sets to build the spaces would pretty much be cheating. So my no! Step I got pushed in. As for all these other pieces, they're gonna be used to help make this build. And lastly, I ordered some oh, so Maybe I ordered a little too much. Okay, so it's to make it a Minecraft world, we need to make a home for our boy Steve, aka the main character of this world. Mm -hmm. And as someone who mm -hmm. plays survival all the time, let's make a survival base. I'm thinking some sort of cabin made of logs and stone. So I'm gonna use some brown bricks for the logs on the corners of the house, and some gray pieces for the cobblestone. I'm gonna add some furniture inside now. And then I went ahead and added some survival essentials, and even some armor so Steve's extra protected. And on the outside, I wanted to make a small place to hold a few animals, so I finessed some parts from one of the sets I bought, and I made a spot to keep two foxes. I also made a custom birch tree using some black and white plates and some green bricks for the leaves. And a few more touches, a chef's kiss, and boom, our survival base was complete. Now it's time to expand out and make some sort of biome. And one of the most unique ones out there is probably Mushroom Island. Mushrooms grow on it, and there's even caliber mushrooms grow on it. Bruh. Lego made a Mushroom Island set about five years ago, so I'm going to take it as inspiration. For the dirt blocks, I'm going to use gray for the top layer instead of green for normal grass blocks. Now we can start forming the landscape and making it look like an actual island. I got a mushroom cow from one of the sets, so let's go ahead and throw that in, as well as some small shrooms around the island. And for the big mushrooms, I'm going to make a red one and a brown one, kind of like the ones you eat. Now our mushroom island looks fully complete, and Steve has a new biome to explore. Okay, so we built Steve a house and a private island to explore, so life is going well for him. But we're also going to need a place for him to mine ore and rack up on diamonds so we can be all dripped up in the finest armor. So behind this house, I'm going to add a cave. In this spot, I'm going to build a mountain using gray bricks for the rocks, and I'm also going to leave a hole in the middle for a cave where Steve can oh, yeah. I'm going to make some custom blocks with studs, so I'll throw in some coal, some iron, emeralds and i know that diamonds don't spawn above ground but i'm gonna throw some in anyway on top of the cave i'm gonna add some soil but even with that this rock formation looks as bald as dwayne johnson the rock himself so putting in the work in hours i also added some trees some flowers animals and even a beehive on one of the trees 
And lastly, I'm going to fill the inside of this cave with lots of water using some transparent bricks. And I'll even throw some axolotls because those are pretty cute as well. Okay, now let's make another bio. I really like spruce forest, but my favorite of them all is the old growth taiga, which is pretty much like a spruce forest, but on steroids. It's way cooler because the trees are super tall and big. The grass in these biomes is slightly different in color, so I'm going to use some sand green plates. How about we put the taiga in this corner of the map right here? And to make the trees, I'm going to make them four times as thick as my normal trees, and I'm going to use some dark green bricks for the leaves and then we can make a second one slightly different design and old growth taigas there's also possible which is like uniquely colored grass blocks so to impersonate those i'm just going to use some dark orange plates i'm also going to throw in some extra details like some mossy cobblestone some sweet berries a wolf and a fox and it looks like our old growth taiga is complete okay so i think i've decided i want this part of the world to have a biome so another one we can add is the ice spike biome pretty much a biome full of snow and these really tall towers of ice so to start i'm going to make the land and from the rest of the top layer of dirt. I'm also going to leave some space between this biome and the taiga because I want to add a river. We're going to make it extra icy though. We might as well throw in a few polar bears. Oh no, I look drip now. This transition here looks really bad, so we're going to fade it a little bit just to help blend it in together. That looks oh, much better. Now it's time to make the ice spikes. So for those, I'm going to use some light blue bricks and place them randomly to look natural. But to top them off, I'm going to add some white tiles. Now they look super smooth as ice should be. I'm also going to add a stray which is an exclusive mob to this biome. And I'm also going to add an arctic fox because they're pretty cute. And since this place is so icy, I think we should throw in little bow. boat I was thinking of, but that works too, I guess. I think it's about time we give this Minecraft world a village. <laughs> to hurt your brain, here's a block of compressed 8x16 plates that I squished together in a past video. Definitely need some of these. I'm gonna make this a plains village. Because of that, we also need to do some work to blend it in with the ice spikes biome. I want to make an iconic villager house, so I'm gonna use some brown bricks for the log corners and some gray bricks for the cobblestone walls. Now we can finish building up the walls, and then finally, we can add a roof. And now we have a sick crib for our villagers. If I think about it, there's not a sustainable source of food in this world, so I'll add a small farm with some wheat, carrots, potatoes, and I'll even throw in some melons and a pumpkin. We also need a drinking source, so I'll go ahead and add a small fountain, and for the village, I'll throw in some tan tiles for the shovel dirt, and for some shade, I'll also throw in a couple trees. We can now add our villagers, and since this one's a farmer, I'll give him a hat. I'll also make some wheat blocks and a few mobs to bring this to life, like an iron golem and a few chickens. Okay, this is ironic, but what if we included a world inside a world? So I grabbed some black and purple parts to make a nether portal because we're going to recreate the nether. Let's start with some simple landscaping which uses dark red bricks for nether rack. Man, that's so tedious. Now it's time to make my favorite thing to find in the nether which is a nether fortress. So I'm going to take a ton of these modified bricks that look like actual bricks to build my way up and make this giant pillar. And on top I'll throw a wither skeleton in, a normal skeleton, and a blaze. This build is looking a little too red for my taste so to add some variety and color I'm going to throw in a warp tree using some blue bricks and plates. And lastly let's add some lava to make this place extra dangerous looking as it should be. And a few extra mobs like this magma cube that I got from one of the sets I bought. And this thing's pretty satisfying. And voila, our nether world is officially complete. Okay, so now let's go back over to Mushroom Island and start adding stuff near it. Personally, my favorite biome in Minecraft is the jungle. It's a rare biome, and when you run into one, you feel super happy. It's also super lush, and it looks pretty. So let's start by forming the landscape and figuring out where this is going to be in our world. We definitely need to make one of the iconic jungle trees, so I'm going to build a thick pillar of brown bricks for the trunk. And I'm going to top it off with some green bricks for the leaves. Let's also I'm pretty fly. Beans. Now we can start adding some ground level plants to make this really look like a jungle. Sadly, I don't have any Minecraft pandas we can use in this build. I guess this will work. But we might as well throw in some bamboo. I also don't have any parrots, which kind of sucks, but I'll just make my own using some small parts. And boom, we just saved money to buy a set that had one. Now let's throw in a few more mobs, and bing bong, our jungle is officially finished. At this point, it was 4 o'clock in the morning, and I was getting really tired, so it was time to go to sleep. I made sure to put Steve in bed as well. I want to add another warm biome to go with the jungle, and an iconic one I can think of off the top of my head is the savanna. It's a biome that looks like Africa. I'm going to use a slightly different color of green to make the grass, but something unique about the savanna is that there's acacia trees, and they pretty much have gray bark. So to build them, I'm going to use some gray bricks. There's loads of grass in this biome as well, so I'm going to throw in an illegal building technique to design it, and it's where you take a tile and sandwich it in between two studs. Don't worry though, I'll shortly be switching states and changing my name after this video is published, so the cops don't 
go chase me. We can add a few more final touches like a wandering trader with his two llamas and a cow. And bing bong, another biome secured in the bag. Another important thing to make on my list is the Mesa biome. It's like the Grand Canyon, but in Minecraft. So to design this biome, we're going to need a ton of unique colors like dark orange. And we're going to use that for the sand, which will form the landscape of the build. And if we finish that, yeah. we'll start creating a mountain oh, terracotta okay. using multiple layers of colors. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to be the... Um, the um, classic, the classic wise man, wise man. Yeah. We can compensate by adding donkey. Go so in Minecraft, there's always that one kid who cheats.